Hello and welcome back spider owners, Brandon here with Slingmods.com and today we have our dual horn kit for the 2020 and up Canon Spider RT models. The Can-Am Spider is an agile vehicle that can easily be overlooked by other motorists. The stock Spider RT single horn is not very loud in our opinion and may fail to grab the attention of distracted drivers when out on the open road. So to address this issue, we've teamed up with the guys over at Spider Extras to bring you a dual horn kit for the 2020 newer Can-Am Spider RT models. This dual horn setup throws out an impressive 118 decibels from its relatively compact size and includes all necessary hardware and harnessing for straightforward installation. So now allow me to walk you through the installation process on our Shop 2020 Spider RT. Start by pushing down on your key and turning it counterclockwise to unlock and open your frunk, and then remove the key and set it aside for now. Then remove these two T30 Torx screws, so that you can lift your battery access door up and out. Next, unscrew and remove your negative battery terminal. followed by the positive battery terminal. Now lift the rubber strap holding the battery in place and lift the top plate up and off, being extremely careful not to touch the metal battery plate against the battery terminals while removing it. Now you can tilt your battery forward and out. Next, remove these three plastic push pins on the front right hand side panel under your bike. Followed by this T30 torque screw, so that you can remove this panel and access your horn from underneath the bike. Now unscrew, but don't remove this 10 millimeter screw on the bottom of the L-shaped mounting bracket. You can even access this from up above where your battery was. And then once you have it off, unplug the two clips on the back of your horn. Next, unscrew the T30 Torx bolt and 13mm nut so they can take the stock horn off the L bracket and then reuse that bolt sliding it through the first horn then through the L bracket add the new silver spacer from the kit followed by the other horn we're using the same nut and tightening it down so that it's just finger tight for now. Now mount up the horn assembly back up to the screw we left earlier. This will be a bit tricky to do so I'd recommend having someone up top tightening the bolt from above while you line up the bracket from below. Then you can tighten down that T30 Torx bolt and 13 millimeter nut the rest of the way, making sure not to over tighten. Next, you can fish your wiring harness up from below. Now, if you're like us and have these larger white clips on the stock horn plugs, you'll have to unclip both of those. Plug them into the new horn connections, and it doesn't matter which side goes to which. Making sure to wrap them with electrical tape.
Now you can reinstall your battery. Be extremely careful not to touch the metal battery plate against the battery terminals when reinstalling. And reinstall your rubber battery strap to hold your battery firmly in place. And connect the new red positive cable from your horn to the positive terminal on your battery. Followed by the black negative cable from your horn to the negative terminal on your battery. Next, you can test your horn to make sure it works. And then finally, you can zip tie any excess wiring up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. And then reinstall your panels. And there you have it, folks. So if you'd like your 2020 or newer Canon Spider RT horn to go from this to this, then be sure to head on over to SlingMods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab a dual horn kit for your spider. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Until next time.